iPRISM. From design to audit to proactive management of change, iPRISM brings unprecedented accessibility, accuracy, and efficiency to pressure relief systems management. Welcome to Generating Reports in iPRISM, Part 2. iPRISM provides discrete slices of the data it stores and manages in the form of individual reports that are designed for clear and elegant presentation, minimal file size, and economical printing with no unnecessary ink or color usage. Part 1 of this series described three of the four modes of delivery for iPRISM reports. Individual reports that can be found on report menus, accessed via report links on the top right of most iPRISM pages. Unit batches of a single report type, but for multiple systems or multiple pieces of equipment generated via the unit reports menu. Multiple report types in batches generated for a single piece of equipment or for a single system in accordance with the rule sets configured at the plant level. If you are unfamiliar with these methods of generating iPRISM reports, see Generating Reports in iPRISM, Part 1. In this video, we will look at system report packages that allow for the generation of multiple report types for multiple objects related to a protected system. As the workflow diagram shows, for the relevant system on the left, or system revision on the right, you apply a rule set and then generate the report package. Rule sets can be set at the system level, or they can be plant standard, site standard, or iPRISM standard. System packages are saved to a particular user, while revision packages are saved to a system revision. We'll begin with system packages. To generate a system report package, from the relevant protected system view, pick Report. From the System Reports menu, pick the Generate System Report Packages link at the top. Here we see the available reports laid out in tables for the protected system and for iPRISM objects related to the system. Linked Equipment, Applied Contingency Scenarios, Compound Streams, and Stream Flashes. The reports currently selected are determined by the current rules being applied. When you arrive at this page, the current rules will be those of the package most recently generated, or if there is no current package, of the package rules that are default for the plant. To change the selections, we can do several things. From the Load Rules drop-down, select and apply a different set of package rules. Or hand-pick the required reports. Use the All or the None links, and use the sequencers to change the order in which reports will appear within their report category. Note that one system overview or other system report would be included in the batch for the one system, but that if selected, equipment ISO drawings will be included for every piece of equipment linked to the system, a PRV datasheet for every relief valve, a DC configuration report for every distillation column, likewise a stream summary for every compound stream, a calculation summary for every applied contingency scenario, and so on. If we post changes that deviate from the current rules, or that haven't been saved to the current package, iPRISM lets us know. If we've made some changes, but want to restore the page so that it again displays the selections of the most recently generated reports package, we can reload this package's rules. This page performs three main functions. Generating report packages, accessing generated packages, and creating new plant rule sets for packages. To generate a package, make custom selections, or select a rule set. We'll use the iPRISM standard set, and then pick the Generate Package link and confirm. A package contents page will appear, with links to individual reports, and with an option to view the package in a single linear document, but with page breaks for printing. Pick the Back button to return to the package contents page and pick back again to return to the report's package editor. Once a package has been generated, it will be saved until overwritten by another package, generated by the same user. Return at any time and pick the View Reports link to view the same package. Reports will not have been updated to reflect any changes to the system or its components. Pick the Download Reports link to download the package in a zip file. The package will still have a contents page with links to individual reports, page breaks for printing, and graphics shared between reports to minimize overall file size. The clipboard is something we will discuss a little later. Now we know how to generate a package and how to view and download a reports package. 
but how do you create or edit a set of rules for creating packages? Let's say we want a package of reports consisting of some general information about the protected system, and then all the reports available for applied scenarios, like the none links to remove equipment, stream and flash reports, and we use the all link to select all scenario reports. For system reports, let's say we want only a system description and a flow sketch, but we want the flow sketch first. We open the sequencer pop-up, locate flow sketch, and select it. We pick the pick link, navigate to the new location, and pick over to place it over the current line. And here the sketch is now, at the head of system reports. When we posted the change to sequence, iPRISM checked our current selections, and now it lets us know that they no longer match the current rule set, iPRISM standard, and that they have not been saved. To save our selections as a new rule set, from the Save Rules drop-down, we select Add Plant Rules. Then enter a name for the rule set, and pick OK. Our Plant System Scenario rule set will now be available for application by any user to any protected system in the plant. Alternatively, we could have saved our set as this package's rules, which would allow us to generate a custom package without creating a new named rule set. If we want to make changes to the selections in our rule set, add system contingency analysis for example, we make our changes, then save them again to overwrite the plant system scenario set with the current selections. That is how you edit an existing set. This page we have been working on is the report package editor at the system level. There is a plant level version of this page with additional tools for the management of package rules. To reach it, we go to the plant view pick the Parameters and Options link, then pick the SRP Rules link, standing for System Report Package Rules. The purpose of this page is plant-level management of rule sets, not access to report packages. Note that there are no controls for generating, viewing, or downloading packages. But as in the previous view, we can select reports and edit their sequence and then save our selections. We can save the new set as plant rules, overwrite an existing name set, or even save them as site rules, meaning that they will be available for application in all plants in the site. We can delete plant rule sets, although not site rule sets, and we can designate a plant rule set as the plant default, meaning that its selections will be displayed when any user accesses the report package view for a system within the plant. We can also load rule sets from another plant by selecting the plant name and then selecting the rule sets from within that plant. We'll load our System Scenarios rule set, which is a plant rule set. And then save it again, but this time as a site rule set. Again, we give a name to our set. And here is our set, which will now be available in the plant level system reports package editor in all plants in the site. There is another site level version of the reports package editor, open only to users with system administration access, where in addition to the operations shown here, site rules can be deleted or made default for all plants in the site. Thus, it is entirely possible for a rule set, such as our system scenario set, to be generated at the system level, saved as plant rules, then loaded and saved as site rules, and then set as site default rules. So rule sets can migrate up from the system to the plant to the site. They can be migrated between plants, and they can also be loaded downward, site rules to the plant, and plant rules to the protected system. Recall that we started in the system level reports package editor, and we got there starting in the system view for the relevant protected system by picking the report link and then in the System Report menu, picking the Generate Reports Package link. And recall the Clipboard link that we previously glossed over. Report packages generated from this iPRISM page are ad hoc, and they are ad hoc by design, intended for occasions when an individual user needs to capture system data in a bundle of selected reports to print, save, or send. Report packages generated from this iPRISM page are saved to the clipboard of the user currently logged in. In our example, the user known as user. Picking the clipboard link 
takes us to the repository view. Here is the file containing our current reports package, saved to the clipboard of the current user, listed as user sample. This file is available only to this current user and its contents will remain static until overwritten when this user generates a new package for this or any other system. A user clipboard will hold only one package of reports at any time. Save a package locally if you want to preserve it while generating additional system report packages. iPRISM provides a second variety of system report package where the exact same contents can be viewed by all users with system access and the report package file is saved to the current open revision or to a closed archived revision of the protected system. System revision packages allow users to be quite literally on the same page and also to look back in time to the prior state of a system at any point when the previous revision was signed off and closed. To work with system revision report packages we again begin in the system view for the relevant protected system. Instead of the report link we pick the revision link to access the revision control browser. If there was an existing report package for this revision, these grade links would be enabled for us to view or download the package. But we'll have to create one first, so we pick the generate link. As you can see, the revision package editor is nearly identical to the system package editor we were just looking at, and it functions in parallel fashion. Make custom selections, or select a rule set and pick Generate. Note that the same plant rule sets and site rule sets are available as we're seen in the System Package Editor. We'll load our Site System Scenarios rules and Generate. The package itself is identically formatted with a contents page, links to individual reports, and the option to view as a single linear document. One very important difference is that where previously we saw the username of the current user, we see the current system revision number, and it is to the revision that the package will be saved. Where previously there was a clipboard link, we find a repository package link that takes us to the repository package view for the report package we just generated. And we can see that package file is saved to a repository area defined by the system revision. Backing out to the revision control view, we see that the report package links are enabled now, and there is a report package for the current open revision. And any user with system access can view or download the same set of reports. Further down, we see that the report packages for closed revisions of the same system can also be viewed, and they can be downloaded, and we can navigate directly to the relevant repository package view. Note that a reports package must be generated before a revision is signed off and closed, otherwise no system reports will be archived. And so to recap, rule sets for system reports packages can be managed at the site level in the Site Reports Package Editor, accessed via system administration. Rule sets for report packages can also be managed at the plant level in the Plant Reports Package Editor, accessed via plant parameters and options. Rule sets or custom selections can be used in the generation of reports packages saved to a user clipboard, with access only for the user who generated them in the System Reports Package Editor, accessed from the System Reports menu. Either rule sets or custom selections can also be used to generate reports packages saved to a system revision, with access to all users with system access in the System Revision Reports Package Editor, accessed via System Revision Control. The System Revision Control view provides quick access to generated reports packages for the current open revision or for closed and archived previous revisions of the current system. Once generated, reports packages can be downloaded in zip files, saved locally, browsed while logged out or offline, appended to email or otherwise transferred between devices. And this concludes our two video series describing the four main ways in which iPRISM data can be rendered into printable, downloadable, and transferable reports. From design to audit to proactive management of change, iPRISM brings unprecedented accessibility, accuracy, and efficiency to pressure relief systems management. Brought to you by Curtis Wright Flow Control and Ferris Engineering.